construction continues to grow for jobless residents across the Commonwealth. This coming after weeks of little to no answers from the state regarding unemployment claims. Just kept hitting submit. Nothing ever happened. It just sat there. So I called the helpline or I sent an email to the helpline. Nothing from them. I've sent two emails. Still nothing. We spoke to Schubert a week ago about the start of her tedious unemployment process and a week later she tells us that the state denied her unemployment claim because she didn't meet the salary requirements. You have all these people working for you, lay off all these people knowing that all these other people are going to file for unemployment. But yet you laid off all those people because they were non-essential. We're all essential. Others we spoke to say that the state needs to do more on their part to get this resolved in a timely manner. Frustrations are growing for Tyler Pelton, a truck driver who hasn't received any information about what he'll be receiving for unemployment. To a certain level of accountability, and I think that it needs to be you know, expected of them. Uh, I think we need to hold them accountable in the sense that maybe their pay should stop. Representative Ryan Bizarro says in statement, quote, for those filing unemployment claims the week of March 29th or later, most answers we are receiving from Harrisburg is that the claims are delayed but processing. Bizarro adding that they are still waiting for self-employed independent contractors and gig employees to also file their claims. Now, Representative Bizarro tells us that if you have a applied for unemployment to add the number 888-313-7284 to your phone contacts as this is not a spam caller and you should be receiving one of those calls soon enough. Sean? Boy, you can hear the frustration though in their voices. I mean, you know, a lot of people all over this country, bills piling up and no money coming in and, and they can't even get through the phone. And Star Bodie in the, in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Star.